Hey guys, it's Caitlin. So this is the look I'm doing today. It's got a whole bunch of new products that I have brought uh, included. If you want to see how I did it, then keep on watching. So to start with, I'm going to take the Rimmel London Match Perfection Foundation in the colour 001 Fair Porcelain, which is the lightest one that they've got. So I'm just blending that in using my Real Technique sponge, which is damp. Then I'm going to lighten up under my eyes just a little bit and highlight anywhere else I want using the Revolution Conceal and Correct concealer in C0, which is white using my sponge again to blend that out and kind of spreading it out a bit. Then to go over any spots I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Liquid Concealer in C1 and then I'm taking this flat brush which is just by Primark to put the concealer into the skin so that it doesn't lose any of its opacity and I can control exactly where it is. Now for powder, I've not actually been powdering that much lately so I'm just gonna use the Lunatic Cosmetic Lab powder and just set under my eyes and anywhere that's kind of super prone to crease so in between my eyebrows and my smile lines um, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. So to contour, I'm going to be taking the Lunatic Cosmetics Labs Contour Book Volume 1 and taking a mixture of the kind of light blue grey and then these two dark grey colours on my NYX 05 brush. Then to contour my nose, I'm going to take the light grey and the lightest brown colour uh, on this e.l.f. 108 brush. For my blush I'm going to take this medium pink shade from the same palette on my Studio London brush. Next to highlight is something that I am very excited to use and I got this yesterday. I went on a little shopping trip and got a few new things um, but these are the Barry M liquid glitter drops and I've been putting them on my arms, on my legs, just looking at them, well looking at it and looking at its beautiful glitteriness. So I'm going to put this on my cheeks and then try using a brush like this to Pat it in and blend it out. Now the problem with these is it is oil based so it is starting to kind of break down my foundation and go a little bit weird. So I'm taking some on my sponge and just seeing if I can fix it by going over the top. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> you see that it's gone like it's just stuck where it kind of landed. And there's like barely anything on my spend. This is weird. Trying my finger. That is helping a bit. That has helped using my finger. I'm going to try and use the brush I used the concealer to kind of blend it out a bit. I'm trying just taking it straight on my sponge now on this side. And I think that kind of helps take out some of that oil. And then use my finger to spread it around properly.
before I start on the rest of my face, I'm going to take the uh, Body Shop Strawberry Soothing Face Mist. So, as part of my shopping haul yesterday, I brought a couple of eyeshadow palettes from Barry M. I have been loving their stuff lately. Um, so, this is the Fall in Love 2 palette. I have the Fall in Love one, the original one, and it is one of my favourite palettes just to use on the go. Um, it's like an everyday palette for kind of neutral or warm looks. It's beautiful. And then I also picked up the Mythology palette, um, which has a bunch of kind of this is all shimmers and jewelry chromes. Uh, which are really pretty that I want to use as well. So to start off with I'm taking my C1 concealer by Revolution and I'm just going to pat that in. Then taking the first lightest colour and that is going to go over my crease and kind of on the outer corner, outer half of my lid and I'm just going to blend that out. Okay, now I am getting quite a lot of glitter on my eyelid from the highlighter. So, I'm just going to have to do all that because I can't get rid of it now. Then moving on to this colour on my crown brush. And that is going to go into my eye socket. This shade actually has quite a bit more pigmentation than I thought. Which is nice. Then taking my original brush to blend the edges. And I have also brought that onto my eyelid. Building up colour on the outer half. So the eyeshadow is kind of sticking in that highlighter now. <laughs> I'm just taking the original Fall in Love palette and picking up the lightest shade and I'm just trying to kind of set around where I'm putting that highlight. Then I can go back in with the first brush and start blending and working on my shape again. And then with this same crown brush I'm going to take the darkest matte cherry shade and that's going to go on the outer corner and then building that up into the crease and just blending that into the first two shades. And now I'm going to take the metallic cherry shade on a flat brush and that is going to go on the outer corner of my lid over where I put the colour and I'm also just using my finger to really intensify that then I'm going to take my crown brush again just to blend that in to those matte crease colours then from the Mythological palette I'm going to take the white sparkly shade and that is going to go on the inner half of my lid and I'm also going to use the spray just to dampen that and try and help the intensity so wearing that shade has made it really really beautiful then again from the Mythology palette I'm taking the kind of pink blue sparkly shade on another flat brush and I'm just going to use this to blend together those two shades. Then I'm also going to take some of that white shade and just put it under my brow. For under my eyes I'm going to take this darkest shade from the Mythology palette on my pencil brush and that is just going to go right by my lash line. And then I'm going to take this shade on a fluffy brush just to blend that out and taking this 
shade on that same brush, I'm just going to deepen up above the inner corner of the crease. For liner, I'm going to take the Super Beauty Hydra FX in Cherry Balm. For mascara, I'm using the Rimmel London Volume 10 Flash Mascara. So now that I have them in place, I'm going to go and do my other eye and then we can do brows and lips. Now both of my eyes are done and I also did my eyebrows. To start off with my lips, I'm going to take the NYX Liquid Suede in Industrial Paradise, which is a kind of icy blue colour. Then over that, I'm going to take the NYX Geochromatic Lip Gloss in the shade Lucid. So I'm going to add the NYX Liquid Suede in Respect the Pink, just a little bit to the centre. So that is this look finished. Um, tried out a few kind of new things. And this is what I came up with. The uh, lipsticks that I used were also new. Hope you like this look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, my makeup, Caitlin. See you guys again soon. Bye.